you think that you choose a dog, but they choose you. Since the beginning, you know, April was starting to connect with us, we adopt her. And since then, it has been an amazing adventure, so April has made us very happy. If, if you tell me how do you describe April personality, I would say it's like a, a very hyperactive running, and especially when she finds people that she likes or other dogs that she likes and she can relate, she can relate to. It's amazing. I mean, how the way she behaves, she how happy she is. So April was living with us, no problem, and we we took her for the space surgery and she had that, that procedure done and when she came home she was, she was doing her perfect normal recovery. But while she was recovering, uh, she started to experience high fever, shaking. We took April to the to emergency and the vet at the emergency hospital told us that you have to, I mean I'm going to refer you to a specialist and he refers to seven. Um, since the beginning, you know, since, since we made the first call and we took her right away, we were very happy. I mean, we, we, took, we were um, uh, Dr. Wong, Dr. De Vida, Dr. De Pompa. They took our case right away like it was their own pet. But they did the MRI and they did a, a, spina, a spinal fluid sample and they confirmed the diagnosis. So right away, Dr. De Vida explained us the possible uh, scenario that we were facing and the possible consequences that the treatment will have. But they started treatment April right away, which make us, you know, very happy. Uh, as soon as April started started the treatment, uh, as soon as the medication started to make effect, uh, we saw how April improved from one day to the other. Uh, we see the changes right away. I mean, we saw that um, that April was doing um, very well day by day. So that, you know, I mean, as long as you follow the treatment and as long as you follow the instructions that the doctor gave you as far as medication, time of the medications, uh, visits and blood tests that we have, you have to do as, after the treatment, uh, everything's gonna be fine. I mean, rest assured that everything's gonna be fine. April, since she started the treatment at seven, I mean, she hasn't had any problem at all because we, we have been following doctor's instructions. So everything is going smooth since, since then. So we're really pleased that, that she's on the right track. So since then, we engage with seven, with the wonderful people at seven, the nurses, the, the ladies at, behind the phone, the people from the pharmacy, uh, the doctors, every visit we go there, every visit we have a, an amazing experience. Everybody's nice with, with April, nice with April, everybody's nice with us. Nowadays, April, is, April continues to be a spoiled girl. She's very happy, playful, uh, eager to go out, eager to play, eager to eat. Beagles eat a lot. They, they, I mean, there is nothing that can stop a beagle about eating. Okay, but she's very happy. She's very happy, playful. My advice is I understand that at the beginning you feel anxious and you feel like, oh my God, my world is gonna come apart, I'm gonna lose my pet. But you know, you gotta be confident that these people know what they're doing. They are specialists in what they do. So be confident that whatever they say is what it is. Medications are right, treatment is right, and you know, your pet, like April, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be great. Just, you know, be patient, because uh, your pet is gonna be on, is, is gonna be or is already in the right hands. 